Let's talk about admins. Something I get asked pretty regularly is one of the two things. One, am I still an admin? And number two, I got a hair in my eye. What was it like being an admin for Growler? And I'm going to answer that for you. It's time to speak my truth. Okay, that sounded way more dramatic than it needed to be. I'm gonna have a recording up behind me of just me doing some basing for anyone who, you know, is one of those subway surfer people that needs to watch something at all times so you can listen to this. So enjoy. So to answer the first question, am I still an admin on Growl? Uh, I am not. So you guys can stop asking me to host or accept your uploads or to unban you for macroing. I, I can't do any of that. I'm sorry. I do have a guest account that I can use for GST host, GSL, or even sometimes hosting events on stream with light or root beer. So yeah, the answer to that question, I'm not an admin anymore. Number two, what was it like being in Growler admin? And I think we're gonna keep it nice and simple for you guys and just kind of sum up what my experience was being in Growler and admin. I'm gonna talk about the goods, and I'm gonna talk about the bads. So to give you a little bit of background, I did get hired in June or July of 2021. Uh, and I was an admin for about six months. A PR was something I always wanted to do since being a little kid. So really excited when I got the call saying I got accepted. All right, let's talk about the first point of my experience of being an admin on Growl Era. I basically will say this. The first thing I noticed about being an admin on Growl Era is my whole perspective of the game changed. I played this game for many, many years, gained a lot of knowledge, played a lot, understood the game in many different ways. And I thought I knew it all. I thought I had a really good grasp and understanding of what Growl really is and how it runs. Well, that was until I became a PR and everything changed. And when I say that, I mean, I saw the game in a different light. I saw a little bit more of the in-depth stuff on how things ran. I uh, got to talk, meet with a lot of the developers, a lot of the higher staff, and realized that everything I thought I knew about the game was completely different than what it actually was. So yeah, that's a, that's a big thing right off the bat. Uh, my perspective of how the game runs and how the game is as a whole, changed because being a pr you're doing community work so you're helping the game run in that sense you're not coding you're not make my siri went off you're not coding you're not making graphics you are helping the player related issues so uh you have a pretty big part on stuff that can be kind of complicated so yeah i gained a pretty decent perspective on how the game actually is so when everyone's like oh bams you glaze no i just have a perspective that a lot of you guys don't the number two thing i noticed about being an era admin is how professional the staff team actually is. I had a very big point of view, opinion, whatever you wanna call it on how the staff team was. I thought they handled things kind of just like they didn't care. Well, I realized how insane and how much professionalism goes into being a staff on ERA. They handle things very professional as if it was a higher up office level, like lawyer, <laughs> you guys are gonna have a saying. They handle things very professional. The way their rules, the way they talk, it's all very professional. So when everyone thinks that they don't care, if you guys could see some of the things they have in place, how they discuss things, how they go about things, it's very professional. And I think it's very good for their workplace. Number three, I gained a really big respect for the staff team. Once again, I know people like to say I glaze, but the thing is I saw how things were. I saw how people operated and I gained a really big respect for staff members. A lot of work goes into doing what they do. A lot of work goes into making this game run. I know it's very easy on the outside to go, oh, why don't they just add this? Why don't we do this? Well, there's a lot to it. So I gained a really big respect for the staff team, for the game as a whole. I saw the game through a different light. To be honest, every interaction I had was something positive. I don't think I had a negative interaction while being a staff member. Everyone was so professional. Everyone was so nice, so funny, so supportive. It was it was a really good experience for me in that way. Now that we talked about some positives, let's talk about some negatives. Because once again, I don't want to be looked at as a glazer. I, I think I had some negatives in the sense of not people, but just circumstances. When I said I saw the game through a different perspective, that also comes into play with I saw the game through the way that isn't always good. I saw the game uh, or the side of the game that is pretty toxic, that can be very harsh. I saw a lot of the players that I thought were the coolest people in the world getting reported for some of the nastiest stuff you can think of. Um, and I also saw how negative and critical people were of the staff team. I say stories all the time of people getting uh, gagged. After their gag is done, their sentence is done, they're going around spreading that they're being targeted or whatever. 
and then you go look at the log something that players like us can't see and you see everything that actually went down so i got to see a little bit of that side of the game um so that was kind of harsh and it also painted the staff team in a very negative light when that wasn't always the thing that wasn't always the case that kind of leads me to the next point in harassment, but also kind of like people took the fact that you're an admin almost as they were like using you. Like the amount of times I would wake up every morning to like 10 different people messaging me, hey, I have this head, it's not gonna get accepted, can you log on and accept it for me? Or hey, I got banned for hacking, can you go unban me? Which I couldn't do except for the PR. Or like all these things, hey, host events, hey, do this. And then if you didn't, you're almost getting like death threats which i know sounds crazy but it actually did happen uh so yeah that was something that i had a hard time with was people that i thought were really chill with me were kind of using me for the fact that i was a pr to try to accept things for them to try to host things for them rig events for them like it was it was a whole thing and then if i didn't then you know people would say wow okay i'm unsubby i thought you were my friend like People kind of use the fact that you're an admin as a, okay, now I get leeway. I don't know if other people go through it, but that's kind of what I experienced. And lastly, the last negative that I did experience was just timing overall. The reason I didn't continue being a PR is how much time actually goes into it. I know we think PRs don't do anything. And once again, I was that person for the longest time. I had this mentality that, oh, PRs don't do anything. Admins don't do anything. I had that mentality. Then I became an admin and I sought and I saw the game through a different light. Something I, I'd never thought that being a PR had a lot to do. Like you had a lot to do. I thought it was just like the basics, a very broad sense of like, oh, you just accept uploads and you do reports, which I mean, you do. But the problem is there's so much more that goes into it. How thorough you have to be with certain things, the amount of things that could happen, like the amount of times I would just be sitting there doing reports and I get them all clear, do all the uploads, get them all cleared. Then you like yawn and you look and you have 300 uploads. To do. You're like, wait, what What even happened? How did that How did that go so south in five minutes? So yeah, it took a lot of time. And also, you know, I would go to work for eight hours and then an hour and a half of drive totals, so like nine and a half to potentially almost 10 hours of work, we'll say, for the day. And then I come home, do some schoolwork and then maybe edit a video. And then it's like 11 o'clock at night to hop on was like, like felt pretty exhausting knowing like all the things that could happen and all the time that would go into it and i felt like that was kind of unfair to people who actually needed help for me to give like a, a half performance so that was my thing and that's the reason i actually ended up quitting i just couldn't balance all the things those are probably my negatives so that's my experience as a growl online era admin there were positives a lot of positives great people on the staff team feeling like you really helped the game it, it was great in that sense but yeah overall i would say it was a very good experience and if people are eligible, I would say definitely try it. You get to see this whole perspective on the game that you may not have ever seen before. Once again, highly recommend it if you're eligible. It is something that completely changed how I look at Growl. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I wanted to talk about my experience as a Growler admin. I get asked all the time and I wanted to try something new for a video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Watch some on loop basing. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Make sure you sub if you haven't already. Peace.